Hi friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In the last session, we have gone through concept of rank of a matrix and we also seen for a 3 by 3 matrix, the rank can be 3 or 2 or 1 depending upon whether the determinant of the matrix is not equal to 0, then the rank is 3. If the determinant of the matrix is 0 or the matrix is singular and any 2 by 2 submatrix determinant is not equal to 0 or any 2 by 2 submatrix is non-singular, then the rank is 2. And if these two cases fail where the determinant is ma determinant of the matrix is 0 and also all submatrices determinants are 0, then the rank of matrix is 1. So, let us try to apply that concepts in simple examples and also let us go through elementary transformations. First, let us look at this example what we have here. X is given by 1000001010. Now, I have to find out the determinant of this. If it is not equal to 0, then I can say directly the rank equal to 3. Now, I will go for first row, first column because remaining all elements are 0 there. So, I prefer to go there. If I do that, I will have 1 into 0 minus 1 that is nothing but equal to minus 1 which is not equal to 0 minus 1 not equal to 0. So, the rank of x is equal to 3. So, that is the rank of that matrix. Let us look at this example B where you have all the elements equal to 1. So, without doing anything you should be able to directly say what is the rank of this matrix. You do not need to do write single word. How you can know that? Now, look at this matrix the rows are identical. So, rank is not equal to 3. Now, let us remove one row or one column. Okay? Let us remove one row or one column. What happens now? You will get a sub matrix 2 by 2, but all of them are again having elements as 1, 1, 1, 1 only. That means again rows and columns are identical. That means rank of the matrix cannot be equal to 2 also because all these matrix, all these sub matrices determinant is equal to 0, 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1, 0. So, the rank of the matrix is nothing but equal to 1. So, what you will write there? Rank of B equal to 1. Okay, right. Now, let us look into what is elementary transformation. Sometimes, when the matrix is given to you, see if there are no zeros in the elements, anyway we are taking it for simplification here. Suppose the numbers are so big also, then doing the calculation by expanding will take lot of time or it is a little bit cumbersome. So, what we can do is we can apply transformations on the rows or columns in such a way that we can convert some of the elements into zeros, then calculating the determinant will be e easy. So, suppose I have a matrix here A of 3 by 3. I want to find out the rank of this matrix. I can straight away go ahead and expand it, but I will try to use elementary transformations. What you can do as part of elementary transformations? You can do three things. One, you can interchange the rows. That means, I can make R1 as R2 or C1 as C2. And another thing, I can multiply R by a, a particular row by a number which is non-zero. What else you can do? I can do also, I can, you remember when we did determinants, we did the transformation of rows, like I can, I can make R1 as R1 plus R2, R1 plus 2, R3, or R2 as R3 minus R2. That means, elements of one particular row, you can add to the other row by multiplying with a non-zero number. That means, R1 plus 2 R2 or R1 minus 3 R3, something like that you can do. Okay. Now, this example is pretty simple. I can do it without elementary transformation also, but let us use it so that we will understand what is the concept. Okay. Now, if I look at this example matrix A, I see one zero there. Whenever there is a zero, immediately it will catch my attention. Why? Because that row or that column I want to attack and make some elements as 0 so that calculating the determinant will be easy. Now, if I find out the determinant of this matrix and say it is not equal to 0, then I can straightforward go ahead and say the rank of this matrix 
is nothing but equal to 3 okay let's do that so what I will do now first is I see 0 so I want to make R2 first element as 0 what I should do here I have 3 here I have 1 so I know 3 minus 3 into 1 equal to 0 R R3 minus 3 into R2 if I do that one then this element will become 0 so I will say I will say R2 is assigned R3 minus 3 R2. Now how the matrix will change? The matrix will be 0, 1, 2 as it is. The third row also will remain the same 3, 2, 1. The second row R3 minus 3 R2. 3 minus 3 into 1, 0. Similarly 2 minus 2 minus 3 into 2 that's nothing but 2 minus 6 that's equal to minus 4 so I will have minus 4 similarly what is the next one R3 minus 3 R2 that means 1 minus 3 into 3 that's nothing but 1 minus 9 equal to minus 8 so it will become minus 8 now in in elementary transformation you said that you can multiply with a non-zero number. So can I multiply with minus 1 by 4 here? So that I will have 0, 1, 2. Again I will have 0, 1, 2. I will have 3, 2, 1. Now by looking at this matrix itself immediately you can say that the determinant is 0. Why? Because R1 is identical to R2. R1 and R2 the elements are same. So rank is not equal to 3. But can you identify any 1, 2 by 2 sub matrix where that determinant of that 2 by 2 sub matrix is not equal to 0. Let us take 1, 2, 1, 2 it is 0. If I take 0, 1, 0, 1 it is 0. But I can take 1, 2, 2, 1 this one. I can take this one if I take this 2 by 2 sub matrix what will be the determinant of that 1 minus 4 that's nothing but equal to minus 3 so it's not equal to 0 so the rank of the matrix is nothing but equal to 2 so rank of A is equal to 2 how we did that first we find out the by elementary transformation we made it simple try to get some zeros then what we observed is we are getting identical rows that means the determinant will become 0 so what we did now we went to the next level we took sub matrices 2 by 2 sub matrices I see some of them are becoming 0 I am looking for one which will not be 0 so I see I can take 0 2 1 1 0 1 minus 3 2 or I can take 1 2 2 1 I took 1 2 2 1 I got minus 3 which is not equal to 0 so if I have one sub matrix which is not equal to 0 then immediately I can say rank equal to 2 therefore the rank of this matrix is 2 in the next session we will try to understand what's a bigger picture why rank of matrix needs to be calculated and also we will look into, into consistency of system of equations and what's the meaning of that and afterwards we will move towards solving the system of linear equations like a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d1, a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal to d2, a3x plus b3y plus c3z equal to d3. If you have these three matrices, we know algebraically how to do, how we can do using matrices. There are a couple of methods. We will go through them in detail and try to understand. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you in the next session. Thanks again. Bye.